reorganizing my collection of pins and I haven't had any video content for you guys for a minute so I thought I might try and take some clips of organizing my pins. Um, currently I have them kind of on this little fabric thing that I would hang and it's quite full and disorganized. So um, yeah, my thought is, is I'm going to put these, I bought like three, three of these little fabric hangy pendant things. I don't know what you would call this. Um, and actually I have four of them, but I'm going to try and divide my pins into th three sections. I'm currently sitting on my bed figuring out how I want to organize these. Um, I'm thinking like maybe uh, like what's what do I call this like characters like video game characters in Sanrio maybe holiday maybe combine holiday with like commemorative pins from like locations and events and miscellaneous like cutesy stuff stuff that's just like for aesthetic that's my current thought process. So I'm going to continue sorting a little bit and check back in later. We got them all organized. So got a little extra light going on here because it's a dark corner I put these in. And I got them all hanging up here. And I'll give you a little mini tour. So I decided to make this chunk all like Sanrio. These guys are like fabric uh, embroidered pins. And then this is a, like a 45th anniversary commemorative pin. And then the rest of these are like enamel pins. I decided to make this its own section just because they're so big. I didn't want the panel to be too cluttered. Also, like these two are pretty big and heavy. This guy's pretty heavy. This guy's pretty heavy. It's actually two layers on this one. And these hooks, I have them hanging from command hooks. And they're only rated for like a pound. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't putting too much weight. So this is the Sanrio panel. We'll go over to the next panel here, which is um, the rest of my collectible characters and uh, some other miscellaneous like cutesy pins. So I've got some uh, Fire Emblem characters. I want a Ferdy pin, but I don't have one. So Mr. Pineapple's taking his spot until I can get a Ferdy pin. Uh, we've got some Trigun, Legend of Zelda, Kirby, Sonic, some mushrooms from Mario, some other mushrooms, some other cutesy stuff. So there you go. That's that panel. And then our last panel over here is um, holiday slash uh, pins that kind of have like meaning or were from an event. So um, these pins are from the local Renaissance Fair. This is from Steam Powered Giraffe, a concert I went to, Hawaii pins. This is a pin from when I became a registered nurse. Down here, I've got some more holiday stuff. So Christmas, uh, Halloween, uh, Turkitty. That'd be for Thanksgiving, I guess. Um, and then this guy down here actually is a little pin somebody gave me at uh, Steampunk Festival in Missouri. Um, they said they liked my outfit and they were randomly giving those out. So I decided to put that with the pins for events and locations. So that is how I've got them organized so far. I know that I'm missing a few pins, so I'll have to probably rearrange these as I find those, but yeah, there you go. So I hope that was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye.